Um, welcome to Funky Kid, I'm Winston and today we're right at the Computech 2017 and we're at the Asus booth. Check it out. Let's go inside and see what they've got. This is the AMD motherboards. AMD motherboards, is that right? Yeah. Okay. X370s. Yeah. And uh, tell us what you've got. These are the new ones, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, AM4 socket. M4 socket. For the Ryzen? Yeah. Okay, nice. This one is also for the uh, this one. So you've got micro uh, ATX versions down here. Okay. And then over there here we have the uh, the two fifties for the and two seventies for the Intel. Okay, we've seen these before. Uh, moving over then we have R O G gaming series. Check it out. Look at this one. This is the uh, Maximus Nine Extreme with the uh, monoblock. Uh, we also have the uh, Amaximus 9 Apex, we've seen those before. And then we also reviewed the uh, Maximus 9 Hero before, so check out our website. This is something interesting. It's not the, yes, this is the Mini iATX. Mini ITX motherboard, and then we have the Strix series. So we've seen these before. We're going to move over to the X299. Yes, X299 is over here. Extreme. Okay. Okay, come and check it out. This is the uh, ROG X299. We have a dual quad channel, quad channel DDR4 slots here. This is the new socket 2066. And then you have uh, PCIe slots here. M.2 SATAs uh, for SSDs. 8 pin. And also a 4 pin there. Okay. This is the uh, new Intel uh, socket 2066. And it's uh, running the uh, X299 uh, chipset, so very nice. Okay, so talking over here, we have the ROG Poseidon GTX 1080 Ti. Let me just grab this if I can. Notice the uh, water, co water cooling block here. Okay, three quarter thread fitting, dual fans. So it's hybrid, meaning it has both. So you can run it as is with the fans, or if you want water cooling, you just uh, have that already mounted with a water block and obviously a nice back plate here, ROG. Dual 8-pin PCIe. Okay. And then you have the uh, usual uh, HDMI and two display port there, DVI. This is the ROG Poseidon GTX 1080 Ti with dual cooling, fan or water cooling. And that is already built in, so very nice. And then moving over here, we have the uh, ROG X299 motherboard with quad channel DDR memory, DDR4. This is the uh, LG socket 2066 for the Skylake X. And uh, very nice board, follows everything with the Strix. It has the RGB, it has the uh, 123 PCIe 16 slots. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, board will be available very soon. Here we go. Yep, RGB sync, integrated M.2 heatsinks as well. Nice, addressable LED strips. And this is for the, uh, the gaming series, the, the ROG Strix X299 e gaming. Nice. Okay, we have something new over here, check it out. It's the uh, ROG Rampage 6 Extreme. Uh, obviously, it's the X299 
uh, mud board. Check it out, it's a little bit wider, you can see that it's uh, again, four channel DDR memory. Then you have the socket there, the 2066 for the uh, Skylink X. Uh, notice the nice cover there. Uh, notice the M.2 heatsink part of the actual uh, cover, motherboard cover there. Um, yeah, it's very nice. I can flip this around. I'm, I'm sure if I can flip this around, come over this side, check it out. It's got the uh, I.O. shield there already with nice RGB audio connectors. Nice. USB-C, loads of USB 3.1. Yeah, uh, Wi-Fi, nice. We've got triple Wi-Fi there. And then obviously uh, the dual LAN there, nice. So this is, uh, I think, would be a top-end uh, X299 motherboard. Very nice, check it out. And then over here, they have, we have something uh, new again. This is the ROG Zenith Extreme, okay? This is the TR4 socket for the up-and-coming AMD Threadripper. Okay, the AMD Threadripper. Check the size of the socket out, huge. Um, but yeah, this is the quad channel version, right? With, uh, it's called the Zenith Extreme ROG, uh, sorry, yeah, with the uh, LEDs there, RGB LEDs, yeah, nice. I'm guessing it'll be uh, adjustable LEDs, yeah. Dual 8 pin, and also ATX there. Check out the, IO Shield again. It has all the uh, connectors, including um, RGB audio connectors right here, and also the 3.1, the same as the uh, Xtreme 6. This is obviously for the uh, AMD Threadripper, uh, uh, running on the uh, socket TR4. So we've got those new motherboards uh, from Asus, and uh, let's check out some of the mods. Check this mod out here. This is a, a bicycle mod, check it out. It's called the, it's called the what? It's the ROG Moto Monster. <laughs> um, basing on the uh, ROG Strix 270 Gaming, Intel of the, the KB Lake 7700. Uh, but yeah, look at this. It's got this crazy mod going on. I'm not sure if you can get this on retail, but a uh, but very interesting mod, you can see. And then we have the tower here. This is the uh, thermal take tower. And here you can see dual reservoir. And then you have uh, the uh, Strix GTX 1080s, standard 1080s, but water cool. And you can zoom into some of the board here, Maximus. You have the Maximus 9 Extreme with the monoblock inside. Very nice. And the water cooling is also part of the side. If you look at the side here, okay? And the water cooling is actually going into the side of the case, which is uh, very unusual. Very nice. So this is the uh, one of the mods at the uh, ROG booth. And then check this other mod out right here. The Halo Monster Chief. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, we noticed then this is obviously a replica of uh, a Halo character. Uh, if you look inside, check it out. You have a uh, fist power water cooler block there with uh, Maximus formula, uh, with the water cooling. Very, very interesting, okay. It's running off the graphics card, it's using an riser cable which comes out into the graphics card right here. This actually, graphics card is actually outside this mod. You can see the Strix GTX running there. Um, but yeah, it's outside the actual mod itself. Interesting. But it's obviously running out through the uh, riser cable right there. You can see that going into the, uh, the mod. Okay. So that's the uh, mods that we cover. I'm going to check out some other stuff. Uh, let's first go over to that side. So we have some of the gaming stuff here. This is the uh, ROG Shift. This is the uh, this is what we're talking about here. It's a curved monitor. Curved monitor. You see that there? Okay. This is a 27-inch 
with uh, G-Sync and notice this 165 hertz refresh rate. Yes, and it's got built-in uh, USBs and everything. Then this is the uh, new keyboard, I believe. Yeah. Let me see. This is the, oh, this is the Claymore Core, I believe. Yeah, this is the Claymore Core. So the Claymore Core, uh, something that we've reviewed in our website. So check out our review. It notices a shorter keyboard, but you also have a separate um, number pad, which you can connect on either side. You're gonna connect up this way, or flip it over and connect it up to this way. So uh, very interesting. RGB as well, fully programmable. I like this. It's one of the top end keyboards uh, that I've reviewed and it's very recommended. So check it out. It's uh, the ROG, another uh, mice, gaming mice. Pretty standard, not much uh, to show. Cool. And then this is all the RGB effect of the uh, gaming accessories. Let's check over this side then. We've got some more mods. Check this mod out. Nice. It's the Raw CL Cleopatra. Right. So what we got inside? We've got an in-wind D-frame. Then it's a dual GTX is in there uh, with the bis power water cooling. Now notice the uh, the swirl on that. You see the swirl? Okay. The swirl is using some, uh, I think, Aurora or maybe a, um, some kind of. Uh, the uh, coolant in there, very nice. And uh, yeah, it's got the full 360 water block, 240, another one in the front here. And it's got this cage here, which is making the graphics card uh, not vertical or horizontal, but at an angle. It's got gold piping. Uh, I'm guessing it's uh, wrapped, but it's very nice. Dominator RAM. Yeah, that's the uh, limited edition ones, very nice. So this is, a, and also an in-wing uh, power supply, which is a, a 1,065 watt, but it's, a, it's got this clear see-through acrylic, very nice. All right, I like this water block. I think this is a um, uh, bit power special edition water block here. Okay. And then this uh, reservoir is nice as well. I think it's uh, specially made custom made for that. And over here, we have another mod, but this is, I quite like this one. Okay. How do you pronounce that? I passion, I passion, passion. Anyway, check it out. We've got some nice bend, hard tube bending with a heart shape. We've got the 360 radiator here with the thermal take fans, I believe it's thermal take. Or some other, though, yeah, maybe. Then we have uh, this reservoir with the loop inside. Very nice. And another reservoir with the bottom here. The pump. And, uh, oh, Bisky. Bisky water block for the GeForce GTX. Nice. Okay, and then here, look at the bends on this. Crazy bend here. It's swirling around like that. This is a hard tube bend, it's not soft tubes. So it's very, Yes, you only got some nice bends on that. So another radiator with a 240 uh, size with the two ring fans in there, very nice. And uh, this is the uh, Strix motherboard, 270. Sorry, Maximum, Maximus 9, Maximus 9 Hero motherboard, sorry. At the bottom there, you got the uh, 650 Corsair power supply. And over here, we have another mod. This is, uh, oh, this is from Scan Computers. Yeah, from the UK. This one is called the ROG Aurora Barracuda. Barracuda. Look at the uh, nice design there. Probably laser cut, very nice. Come over here, we have uh, a 480. Yeah, a 480 radiator at the bottom here. It's massive right here. Look at that size of that. Okay, we have um, two tall reservoirs. Then we have a dual 
GeForce GTX is in there. Uh, nice ROG uh, SLI bridge. Um, then obviously EK water block. We've got some nice Dominator RAM in the quad channel. So this is running the uh, X299. X299 motherboard with the Intel in there. Skylake X. So nice and blue, blue uh, pastel coolant. And then uh, finally we have this uh, final mod here. This one's called the Volex, I believe, yeah. The Volex, Velox, sorry, Velox. This is called the Velox. So we have another mod here called the Velox. And in here we have an inverted motherboard design. Uh, this is a huge radiator, SPC radiator. This is a 480. Uh, EVJ power supply. And then we have uh, dual GeForce GTXs. Uh, this is the Strix version. Three fans. Uh, reservoir soft tubing this time. Motherboard's reversed. Uh, this is, it looks nice and clean. Nothing special about this, just uh, an inverted uh, motherboard. So uh, that's all the mods. Uh, that's, that's all the mods we covered, and uh, I think we'll probably move on to some of the uh, motherboard, uh, the laptops, and uh, maybe some of the gaming accessories we covered earlier. All right. Here we have some. Oh, this is the uh, Strix case. So this is something new. So the Strix case here, and these are the. Uh, different types of modded fronts you can have, the face front panels you can change. I'm not sure if you can buy them separately or it just gives you an idea what you can do with the front face, the front panel. You can just mod how you want, paint them how you want. And you've got tons of different designs all the way across here. Um, this looks really cool. This is a Strix gaming case. I'm guessing it's new on the market. Now over here we have the loads of Strix gaming laptops. Uh, we're not going to go through each of them to cover. There's going to be tons of them, different versions. Uh, there's more here. Check it out. Again, these are all Strix gaming laptops. I'm not going to cover them, but you'll know what I mean. Very nice. So uh, I think we covered most of the stuff, uh, including the motherboards, the actual uh, mods, some of this case, some of the accessories uh, from ROG, and uh, hope you enjoy it. We'll see you next time.